Hello guys. Uh, I just want to talk briefly about how to build your Instagram page. Uh, my name is Amari Bumachiko and I'm the CEO of my title. Now, why do you build your Instagram page? What's the, what's the hype about this thing? Uh, you've heard so much about it. What's the hype? Now, uh, we know that TV channels, TV stations, newspaper, uh, newspaper uh, outlets, they charge so much for a place placement on either the newspaper or on the TV uh, channel because they have an audience they tell you a million people are going to see this or 500,000 people are going to see this or 3 million people are going to see this so you pay a certain amount a huge and a hefty amount for the audience that they have so because they have an audience they leverage it and you have to pay for the audience that they have okay now it's the same thing with um, social media with Instagram with all these things you can have a lot of followers and leverage them in order to get um, adverts, people want to advertise on your page, they pay, they can brand, brand see that you have a lot of people that follow you, so they want to as, an, as a brand ambassador, so they pay you monthly or yearly. Or you can sell products yourself, you have products on yourself, um, as a guy you want to sell shoes or whatever it is, as a woman you want to sell wheat or whatever it is. Or you're a writer, you have books you're writing, you can sell them, those two. Because when you build an audience that follow your, 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 your stuff on Instagram, let's say 100,000 followers and you get like 15,000 likes, you release a book, for example, it's easier for you to sell paperbooks.com or something than if you just had nobody and you just wanted to uh, uh, do sponsored ad. I tell people, it's better not to just do a sponsored ad like that uh, without uh, having a, a, a perspective, either a, a popular face or a very, very good idea. On, of, of, the, of the sponsored ad or else it's just be some people have done a lot of sponsored ad and they didn't get results they wanted now I, I, I don't want to go into ad I don't that but I just want to show you how to build your Instagram page you can leverage your audience it's about leveraging your audience it's about leveraging your audience I know I know a lady uh, uh, I, I, I messaged a lady I was like I want to advertise on your page you know, that's not product and she said she had 38,000 followers at that period she said she was going to charge me 50,000 naira for one post, for one advert post. No, I mean, do you know what I'm saying? As this lady posts at least two ads a month, and I'm being very, very, uh, just I'm just going to minimal. Now, a hundred thousand at least per month. How many people working in an office get that? She's sitting there in her, in her father's house, she's enjoying herself, and she's getting that money. So I'm going to to one fifty two hundred, and then there are opportunities if you're a model or you you you, want, you don't mind modeling. The opportunities for photo shoots, the opportunities for various other things, movies. You're an actress, you can get movie uh, 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 movie roles from being popular on IG. Then in those in the in the nineties and in the uh, there were there were, there were big uh, super models like now with Campbell and all those people that were just based on based on their talent. You know the way they walk, all, all those kind of stuff. But then it got to our time, and most of the models, they go, let me not say most, a lot of the models are a lot of models. They don't have, they might not have the good walking and all this kind of stuff of um, the camera, but they have the crowd, they have the audience, they have like, thousands of people, millions of people following them. So what do you do? As a, as a as a as a designer, you get people that have the audience. It's very important for us to build that Instagram. Very important. Now I'm going to show you some cheese, and I'm going to write a report here, and you are uh, just going to follow follow up on, on what I'm seeing. Now uh, I, I have a black marker. I have a black marker the blue one. So I'm just gonna rush through. I'm not gonna tell you everything. I'm not gonna tell you everything. I'll just tell you a few things that you can work on and it's Alright. The first one I'm gonna talk about is profile picture, right? Profile picture. Profile picture. Now the profile picture has to be uh something that is uh that is uh from the bust to your head from your head to your bust from your head to your bust so it's a portrait it shouldn't be a full picture it should be a portrait not a selfie not one you develop like this your phone no it's a picture that a professional is taking either by someone with a good phone an iphone an, an iphone you know with plus upwards very good uh google pixel 2 google pixel 2 a 3 a you know from samsung uh Samsung S9, you know, those are good things. A very good picture taken, not a selfie. So a post picture, right? That's your profile picture. A post picture, very important. Your profile description. The next thing is your profile description. Now I'm going step by step so you understand what I'm saying. And I'm going to try, I'm going to try to keep it uh, at, at uh, almost 15 minutes so that we can uh, for now. 
So the next thing we're going to do is profile description. The profile description is very important. Now, the profile description has to tell me who you are at one glance. I look at it and I say, oh, this is what this person is all about. So, uh, maybe you are uh, an aspiring actress, so aspiring actress model, or uh, a tech person, or a uh, tech person that you write your credentials. What 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 is what in tech have you done? What what uh, uh what do you call it? What uh, badges do you have? What what have you learned? What uh, certificates do you have? All those kinds of stuff. You list it in your, in your profile description. Very important profile description. I should look at it and tell who are you? Who are you? That's the profile description. Not to be writing uh, uh, um, uh, cake lover, uh, dance partner, you know, some things that I don't really tell you who you are, but they just, just, just write it so I can just laugh. No, no, no. Just think about Instagram as a business. That's how you think about it. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is your handle. Your handle has to be. Um, your profile, your handle, your handle. I advise that you should not put no. I, I advise that you should, there should be no too much uh, underscores. No too much underscores. Just uh, find a handle that is straightforward. If you have underscore, just one underscore is fine. Not too much underscores. All right, so that it doesn't become uh, because what you want a handle that people can remember. It's all about remembering. Oh, that's the handle. You just go type it and it's simple. So like to be underscore, 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 J, underscore, underscore, which is not necessary. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is uh, we'll the profile, uh, picture, profile description, handle, and um, the next thing we're going to look at is um, we're going to look at content timetable. Okay. Content timetable is posting timetable, weekly content timetable. How do you post? It's very important. You don't just post randomly. Oh, I just got a picture. I took a picture on Monday. I took a picture on Friday. No, no, no. There should be a content type thing. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sweating. But I got to get this out. Okay, okay. So content type thing. Okay, so have a content type thing. Your weekly, your weekly content type thing. Okay, so the weekly content type thing. Okay, so. Um, it, it should play to your strengths. Okay, so maybe you are uh, you you sing. Okay, so you say on Sunday, Sunday is going to be pictures of me. Mondays, I'm going to post a singing video. Tuesdays, nothing. I'm going to, I'm going to post anything. Wednesdays, I'm going, to, I'm going to post pictures of me. Thursdays, I'm going to post a video talking about how I treat my voice. Friday, I'm not going to post anything. Saturday, I'm going to post a picture of myself. So you can talk about that. Those are those are um, things that that you can do. That the content time people you make thing. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You look at it and look at what you can do based on your own strengths. That's what you do. Okay. Now the next thing you're looking at is uh, your captions. Your captions for your post. Your captions for your post have to be straightforward and have to be catchy. I have I have a, 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 a lot of captions that I can. Now, some of these things I'm teaching you now, you might not understand it fully, but when you send a mail to us, the mail that's, that's, that's down there, you can send a mail out. I'm ready to respond to you on a personal basis and you can get all the help uh, you need. Uh, personally, uh, the last person I helped to build a page, uh, she had 2,511 followers in May, that was May 14th, and right now she has 10,000, 10,000 followers. And she's getting she's getting paid seven thousand per ad post on her page seven thousand there per ad post on her page now the other person I, I helped her she she had a uh, ten thousand followers I helped her to get up to hundred thousand followers right and these are these are these are steps that they follow very simple steps and it works for anybody so like I said your captions have to be have to be catchy have to be catchy have to be straight to the point and uh, it's very important. Very important. Now the next thing, the next thing that you're going to have to look at is your carousels and your reels. That is your IG updates. Now, when IG updates, remember that it is somebody that it is someone that is coding this thing. Okay, so it is not it, it is not a fair algorithm. It favors some people. It doesn't favor some people. Very simple. So if I'm coding something, I will favor people that bring people to my app and keep them there. 
Remember, it's a different thing to bring people to the app. It's a different thing to keep them there. So I will favor people that bring people to the app in a, in a different way. But I will favor people that bring people to the app and keep them with, keep them there in a higher way. So I should be thinking as a creator, how do I create products or how do I create content that will keep people on the app? Do you understand? So um, Instagram created um, this update uh, called Carousels. Carousels is that you can post up to 7, 8, 10 pictures at once. The maximum is 10. Now, your carousel should tell a story. Carousel is supposed to keep people entertained on your page. But some people, their carousel is so boring. So by the time you look at the first and the second picture, I mean, you swipe up and you go to the next thing. Now, the algorithm takes notice of that. Your pictures, people should be able to get to the last picture. It's very important. So your first picture, this is the rule. The first picture has to catch it. That's to stop you. Tell in my traps. First picture. Second picture, tell the story from the first picture. Third picture, tell another story. Fourth picture, Catch it, strike him. Fifth picture, telling a story. Seventh picture. Now, you should be telling a story like a movie. Get it to a climax, which is the last picture. Do you get it now? So it keeps me there. So it's the, it's the opening watch is oh, this person's page is keeping people coming back and staying on the page. Okay, let us push our product to more customers. Do you understand? So that way you're exposed to more people. That is that is carousel. Now reels, the, 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 the new updates have have to be called reels. It's like TikTok. Now reels expose your 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 video to people that are not even follow you. I know a girl that, that got three hundred followers in, in, in about two three days. Just she just with one reel video. She did one reel video. Posted it. She got over three hundred followers in two three days. Now reels, you, you don't just do videos that are just any other videos. You do something that's catchy. That people are like, oh, who's this person? Let me check out what this person has to offer. Okay, so that is that is kind of that IG updates. Okay, then I think I should I should write that down. IG updates for all 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 I speak I speak part of all we did. Okay, so I've 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 talked about a lot of things, but I'll just talk about a few more things and I would I will stop because you know people pay for this thing. <laughs> Well, I'll give you for free, you know, that's one of the effects of being in this conference, all right? Okay, so now the next thing is your followers following ratio. Your followers following ratio has to be in such a way that you are following maximum of 20% of the followers you have. So if you have 1,000 followers, you should, be, you should be following maximum of 200 people. That's 20%. Right, that's one over five. Followers. So if you have uh, uh, two thousand followers, you should be following a maximum of four hundred people, and like that, because it's all about rest. If I look at your page and you're following, you have one thousand followers, and you are following two thousand people, it looks desperate. It looks like you know this guy is giving attention so much. So it, 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 it can't be like that. It has to be less. It has to be twenty percent at most. Look at it. Look at check out the big pages on IG. You see what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a method. It means that you have fans, and the algorithm favors your page too with that method. Very important. Okay. Um, I think I will not I will not talk about some things, but let me just mention uh, two more things around our report. One thing you have to look at is your status or your story. Your Instagram status or your story. Very important. Now. Your Instagram status or your story shouldn't be passive stuff. Oh, I just saw a funny thing and you posted it, or you saw a funny video and you posted it, which is beautiful. Very nice. People can come back to that. But if you are a, if you are a marketer, you're a seller, it should be something that, that is clickable, something that people can click. So on my story, uh, I think this is follow follower following ratio. Okay, that, that was what I said about this. About this one here. Okay. Now, what the next thing I said about is about the status, the story. Okay. Now, your status has to be something clickable. So, if I'm posting my status for every, for every, I develop the rule, rule for, for my clients. For every three status posts, make sure that one is a clickable post. Either is a poll or is a uh, is a question. Ask me a question. That's what they keep on on Instagram. On the status or something or a link, click this link to, to check out this. 
something clickable, something they can do because your followers have to be trained in clicking something, in doing something, in taking action so that when you want to sell a product to them, it is easy for them to take action. Do you understand? Because big brands, they usually go and take people that have uh, a, a, a very good return rate. That means that when those people post their product, people actually go and check it out. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's very important. Your status out of three, one should be clickable. Very, very vital. Okay, so clickable, clickable status. And post every day, post status every day. Post status on your status every blessed day. Post your status. How will you also notice that? Very important. All right. Uh, I think I'll talk about one more thing. One more thing. Uh, there are a lot of other things I can talk about. But, uh, for, for example, it's very important for me to also look at your page and personalize something into, into your page and everything. But these are some things that you follow. Uh, your followers will boost up from 0 to 50 followers per day. Between 20 and 50. Very important. Now, one thing, one last thing that I'll write in capital letter. Capital. Capital letter. I think I should even write it on the top here like this. I should write it on the top. Right? It's collaboration. Right? It's separate by it like this. Collaboration. Collaboration is very important. Collaboration means that it's like shout out. Right? A friend of yours that has 5,000 followers, another friend that has 2,000 followers. Even if it means buying a time for an African to post your stuff, let them buy it and let them post. Let them post your picture on their Instagram and say, follow my, follow this person, or check out this person's video or something like that. Get people that can do collaboration, you can do collaborations with. And if you have 5,000 followers and the person has 5,000 followers, you can just do you post on this one, you give person a shout out on your status, person gives you a shout out on your status, without paying any money. You buy it in cash. <laughs> so, all of that. Now, collaboration is very important. Because when you, when you do that exchange of exchange of exchange of followers, your followers go to followers, very important. And then collaborations also involve you paying money sometimes to somebody that has maybe hundred thousand followers that says that for him to give a shout out on the status, you have to pay ten thousand naira or five thousand naira, depending on how much value you place on having an audience. Or somebody that has ten thousand followers, I know, I know a lady that has ten thousand followers, she charges one thousand. Or shout outs on a page on a start on a status that is on that level. Now, like I said, there's a level of friends, friends for friends, friends for friends. Oh, yeah, my friend, let me do this. Ah, they do it, they post it on a status, and they will do it. Don't so ask for any time, whichever, do it. But others, some who charge money, pick and do it right now. There, um, there was a client I had, she was getting I, I, in a period of seven days, in a period of seven days, she got. I, I, I grew up with she got 450 followers in the period of seven days. 450 followers. Now imagine that. Another one, one, she had the same, uh, at a different level, the same period, had 250 followers in the same period in seven days. It's very doable. These are things that you can follow and they will help you uh, do what you know, grow up with to the next dimension. Um, I'm tempted to add one more. Uh, no, nah, I'm not adding it. Just uh, send a mail to us. Uh, these are a few things that you can do. Make it more professional and make it grow and have the audience that you want to have. I remember this Instagram is about having an audience, growing an audience to use to make sure that you can leverage. Not just having popular, no, no, no. leveraging it for. Money. There are people that have 17,000 followers, that are making more, more money than some people that have 200,000 200, followers because they know how to leverage their audience and their audience are more active. Are more active. See, if I have 17,000 followers and I'm getting 5,000 likes, and you have uh, 100,000 followers and you're getting 2,000 likes, I know somebody, I know she has 100,000 followers, she's getting 2,000 likes. And one of my clients, she, she has 10.9 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, thousand for that. She's getting over 2,000 likes. Now imagine if you're, if you're, a, uh, you're a big brand, who you go after? Someone has 10,000 for that and getting 20, uh, 40%, uh, uh, sorry, 20% in likes. And somebody that has 100,000 for that is getting how many percent in likes? That just has 2,000 likes. The same as someone that has 100,000, that's uh, sorry, it's getting 2%, so 
20,000 followers, getting 2% in likes. And if it has 10,000 followers, it's getting 20% in likes. You love that. You love that person. It's all about measures. So you love that person that has more likes. So it's all about having an active page that is actually boosting. Most having thousands of followers and they're not even sudden nobody's liking your stuff, nobody's commenting. You understand what I'm saying? So my, that's one of the advantages of buying videos. Um, just send a mail, we'll talk to you personally, and we'll see how we can move the pitch to the next dimension and the ground.